As Americans prepared for war with Germany, African Americans living in Harlem persuaded the governor of New York to grant them their own unit, the 15th Infantry Regiment. They would also need their own regimental band. The man who was asked to lead it was James Reese Europe, the best known orchestra leader in New York, who had begun to incorporate elements of jazz into his infectious, syncopated ragtime music. The regiment arrived in France on New Year's Day, 1918. Europe and his men played the Marseillaise with such drive and excitement that the waiting French crowd took a while to recognize it. American officers were so impressed with Europe's unique sound that they sent the band on a tour of army camps and French villages. They played French and American marches, plantation melodies, and the song Europe had made famous, the Memphis Blues. The soul rousing crash of cymbals, cornet and clarinet players began to manipulate notes in that typical rhythm which no artist has ever put down on paper. Then, as the drummers struck their stride, their shoulders shaking in time, the audience could stand it no longer. The jazz germ hit them and it seemed to find the vital spot, loosening all muscles and causing what is known in American as an eagle rocking it. And I am satisfied that American music will one day be the world's music. Private Noble Sissel. French and British band leaders were convinced that Europe's men were using trick instruments. Otherwise, they said, such sounds were not possible. Down on the farm after this scene, Paris. 
How you gonna keep them away from Broadway Dancing around and painting the town How you gonna keep them away from harm That's the mystery They'll never want to see a rake of plow And who's the deuce and poly James Reese Europe had big plans for peacetime. To merge jazz and ragtime into a wholly new kind of African-American music. We won France by playing music which was ours and not a pale imitation of others, he said. And if we are to develop in America, we must develop along our own lines. On the morning of May 9th, 1919, Europe was in Boston, scheduled to lay a wreath at the base of the memorial to the 54th Massachusetts Volunteers, the first black regiment to fight in the Civil War. But the evening before the ceremony, Europe was confronted by one of his drummers, a high-strung man named Herbert Wright. The two men had words. Wright accused his boss of treating him unfairly, then suddenly stabbed Europe in the neck with a penknife. That night, James Reese Europe bled to death. The loss was incalculable, said the New York Times. Ragtime may be Negro music, but it is American Negro music, more alive than much other American music. And Europe was one of the Americans who was contributing most to its development. The city of New York gave him an official funeral, the first ever granted to a black citizen. Thousands of mourners, black and white, turned out to see the procession pass from Harlem down the west side to St. Mark's Episcopal Church. He took the colored of this city from their porter's places, said the priest, and raised them to positions of importance as real musicians. <laughs>